Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Bobby with Backer Dental, and today I'm really excited to go over one of our new units here. It's the AI Ray Light. So I just wanted to kind of mention a couple of the key features really quick before we dive into the weight versus the pro and how the uh, display works here. Um, so first off, we'll talk about the, uh, the warranty. It does come with a two year warranty. You are able to take 700 exposures on a full charge. That should last you anywhere between three days to a little over a week, just depending on the usage. Um, it should only take about an hour, maybe two hours max to get a full charge on the unit. So that's nice too. It does have the 70 kVs with the two milliamps. So you still have that strong power uh, over some of those other units, which allows you to use less exposure to get that same type of shot. Um, now on the back here, under this little cover here, you can flip this down here. This is your charging port, which is actually really nice. It's on the back of the unit. It does give you that option to plug that cord in with the handbrake. If you wanted to mount it um, on a stand and leave the room, you're still able to take that picture you know, by using that handbrake. So, so let's go ahead and dive into the weight differences between the Pro and the Light, um, and then I'll show you how the display works. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and weigh the AI Ray Pro. Uh, throw it here on the scale. It is six pounds, 8.6 ounces. Now we will do the AI Ray Light. It is five pounds and 4.8 ounces. So it is over a pound lighter. Okay, so I wanted to show you the interface and how it works. So first here's the power button. And you can see all your adult, child, and then type of film that you're gonna be using right here on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, these are your different tooth options um, for your exposure. So how to change all those, we'll start with the person over here on the left. Um, when you choose this, you have your, you can see how it changes right here. You have your, uh, your child and then your adult. And then this one right here will change the sensor, phosphorus plates, and film. And then right here, you'll see the tooth options. And as you change these tooth options, you can notice that the exposure rate does change and you are able to customize the settings for those uh, once you kind of figure out uh, what settings you want for each uh, section here. Um, and the way that you do that is you actually pull the trigger and hit an exposure and it'll actually remember that for next time. In an option and you wanna raise or lower the exposure, just go ahead and change it right here, up and down. Um, and then it does have a safety feature, so you'll go ahead and press the exposure button one, just one time, and then you have a countdown from 60 seconds. Um, that's so you don't accidentally press the trigger and shoot an exposure, um, which is a really nice safety feature. So once you're ready, you go ahead and press and hold the button and that will take your exposure. Now, if you want to get out of that, you can just you can just press kind of any button here and it'll exit right out of that. And again, the, one of the other features I'll mention just because you can see it right here, is it is 70 kVs and it has two milliamps running through. So it is a very powerful uh, portable X-ray. So you're actually able to use less exposure um, than some of the other handheld units um, to get that same shot. So. I just kind of wanted to show you really quick on how the display works and then talk about the, uh, the KVs and the milliamps running through it. 